In this tutorial, we'll be looking at scripting in Mango. And so I'm going to be constructing a neural integrator, which is just called myscript.py. And I need to begin by importing the NEF library. So this has all of the relevant functions for us to call. And the first thing we need to do is create a network. So we can call that library network function, give the network a name, Oops. call it my integrator. So now we've created the network object and we can begin to call it in order to create things to put inside the network. So for instance, we'll need an input. So we can say the input will be equal to, now we want to call the make input function. And I'll just simply call it input and give it an initial constant value of zero. Nevertheless, when we view that object, we will be able to grab a slider and change the input value. The next thing I need to do is add some neurons to this population. We'll just call these neurons A. And then we can call the make function, which is going to make a population of neurons. We need to give it a name. And then tell it how many neurons, the number of dimensions. And what I'll do here is set this quick value equal to true, because that will result in me loading the network later on after I've run it the first time it will just grab that population of neurons and import them into the network instead of having to regenerate the neurons. When we're only creating about 100 neurons, this doesn't really matter, but for very large populations, it can take a long time to generate, and so this can save a lot of time. Now, in fact, there are many other parameters that could go in here. So when we're making this population, we might want to set all kinds of different parameters of the population of neurons. And if you want to know what those are, you can look directly at the code. So here, this is the code. This could be found, as you can see, in your install directory under python slash nef. There's an nef core.py. And in there, we have the make function. And so you can see all the different parameters that can be set. And in fact, they're all described in detail. Um, if you'd prefer not to read the code, you can also go to the Nengo website. And in the Nengo website, in the scripting section, so under Nengo scripting at the very bottom, all of the classes are listed or actually many of the classes, they're not all there yet. But for instance, the nef.network, which is the one that we're using, is listed there. And we can look and see what kinds of parameters can be sent to it. And of course, we can look down and find the make function and see what kinds of uh, parameters are also sent into make, make input, make furry input. So these are all kinds of different functions that are included in there. But in any case, I'll just return to the simple script that we're writing, my script. So now I've defined a population of neurons called A, and now I need to drive those neurons somehow. So I'm going to do my first connection, and what I'm going to do is connect the input that I just constructed to that A population, and tell it how much weight to give that input. So this is basically a gain factor. It's going to multiply the input by that amount. And then I will also tell it what kind of temporal dynamics to give the input. And so we'll call this the postsynaptic time constant. That's how we define dynamics in general. Uh, and I'm giving it a postsynaptic time constant of 100 milliseconds. So essentially, the input changes will be filtered by a low-pass filter with a 100 millisecond decay. Now, of course, the neurons themselves aren't talking to anybody. They're just being driven directly by that input. But because this is an integrator, the connection that we need is actually quite simple. We could take that population and connect it back to itself. And I'll use the same postsynaptic time constant of 0.1. Um, and you'll notice I did not define a weight or how to connect those in any detail, but that's because the scripting system will assume a weight of 1, so basically taking the information in the population and projecting it to itself. And that will result in an integrator, as is described in more detail elsewhere on the network. I mean, on the uh, website. And the last thing I need to do is add all of these objects to the uh, GUI so we can see them and manipulate them further if we want to. So now if I save that script, I can go over to Nengo and click on this folder, find my script, double click on it to open it, and we see that we have an integrator now that's been added We've got our input that we defined, we've got our population of 100 neurons, and we can see if it operates like an integrator by taking a look at the interactive plots. So here you can see 
when I run a network for the very first time, just the network is constructed. It doesn't really show us anything, but as I mentioned, we can right click and pull up a controller for the input, so we'll be able to play with that. And we can take a look at, for instance, some spike rasters of those neurons. And perhaps, we, perhaps we'd like to see the actual decoded values of those cells. Things are getting a little cluttered on this smaller screen. We can move them around a little bit. And then if I hit play, hopefully if there's no input, there won't be too much drift. If I give a little bit of input, you can see that it's beginning to integrate that value. And if I get it back close to zero, it should essentially stop integrating that value. And you can see it's doing exactly that kind of behavior. So that's a very brief introduction to using the scripting. I highly recommend taking a look at the website for more details. And if you have any questions, please feel free to use our mailing lists. Thank you.